a million dollar healthcare breach settlement in the US, the Euro goes digital and more on this week's Security Weekly. Hello everyone, it's Sasha again. Welcome to another episode where you'll get the latest on what's happening across the world in technology and security. A major financial settlement in the US. A health data management company in Tennessee has agreed to pay the US Office of Civil Rights over $2.3 million to settle financial charges connected to a data breach which took place in 2014. An alliance of 28 states brought charges against the Tennessee health management firm CHSBC after millions of personal health information files landed in criminal hands. The firm had been notified at the time by the FBI that a Chinese hacker group known as APT18 was exfiltrating data from the information systems, yet the firm did little, if anything, to stop the intrusion. Furthermore, after the incident, investigation revealed several HIPAA non-compliance infractions. This will be a painful lesson for those healthcare organizations who still aren't taking all the security precautions that should be standard by now. Digital currencies are booming around the world. The pandemic has only served to accelerate this trend. Whether Bitcoin, Ethereum, Monero, or others, consumers around the world are consistently turning to these new forms of virtual currencies as their primary methods of payment. Now, rather than fight this new development, the European Central Bank is seriously considering at the creation of a digital euro. According to ECB President Christine Lagarde, she believed that the effects of COVID-19 had led to increasing structural changes, including how we all work, trade, and pay. The digital euro would bring with it some fascinating opportunities and also make it easier for millions to have access to goods and services. Of course, we can't forget the challenges as well, high among them the cyber risk, potential rights to privacy, and what kind of access to sensitive user information a central bank would be entitled to. The one thing is clear, the likelihood of a digital euro in the next few years is very possible and would unseat the old maxim that perhaps cash is not always king. The pandemic continues to affect us all and one major concern continues to be a lack of sufficient cybersecurity protocols among organizations and staff. According to a recent study conducted by PwC, it has been discovered that more than one in five or 21% of British workers feel more vulnerable to cybercrime now than it did at the start of the pandemic. At the top of the list was stress or fatigue with 35%. The comprehensive PwC survey took in a broad spectrum of staff from many industries and over a third of respondents stated that they had observed a rise in criminal activity such as malicious links and suspicious emails. Again, we are presented with the aggressive pace of cyber criminals on the one hand and a remote workforce that is still not fully comfortable with their IT setup on the other. And to add to that, increasingly susceptible to opportunistic cybercrime such as ransomware, phishing attacks, which could all lead to data breaches. Organizations and companies across the world need to implement the best tools to safeguard their employees and ensure their staff are adequately trained and ready to adapt to our new normal. And that's a wrap for this week's episode, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to keep extra careful out there online and digital activities. Be safe, be healthy, and see you next time. Bye-bye.